It is the beginning of May and Owl Labs has pushed out several new updates in the last couple weeks that you need to make sure that you are aware of. Remember, it is very important that you keep your Owl updated so that it continues to run smoothly along with your Zoom meetings. First update that you'll want to do is going to be the Meeting Owl app update from self-service on your teacher iPad. You'll click on reinstall and it'll pull down the latest version of the app. Using a personal device is not required, but if you are using a personal phone or iPad, you may need to go into that app store and run the update from there. Now that you have your app updated, go ahead and connect your app to your Meeting Owl. Then you'll be able to go to About and whatever you named your Owl and scroll down to the section that says Version. You'll see it lists the software version, the app version, and the check for updates. So 2.7.23 is the current version and the app should be at 2.92. If you see anything under check for updates, please make sure to run those updates until you get to the current version that's listed here. Underneath that, you'll see the default camera settings and a new option for audio. Underneath audio, you have the ability to enable noise suppression for any extra noise in your classroom and you will see double talk detection. Double talk detection should already be turned on. This will eliminate any break in sound when two people are speaking. And the last option there is for echo. This applies mostly to students that are virtual and might hear echo coming from your classroom. If your students at home are hearing echo, this would be a setting that you want to go in and turn up. So you would press the plus button to raise the number to five or six and then test out your sound. Once you have the OWL software updated, there is going to be a feature that was once only accessible from the app available directly to you from the options button on your OWL. The option button will now turn on and off your presenter enhance feature, which will allow it to better track you when you move around your classroom. A few other enhancements and bug fixes to make note of involve the graininess you might see from your owl, so that has been improved, as well as the color that is coming from that camera. Presenter Enhance will also no longer be as jumpy as it was before, so that is something to look out for as well. For any questions involving these updates or help with your Meeting Owl Pro, please be sure to contact your Instructional Technology Specialist.